Hello again, and welcome back to another edition of the Wiccan Conservative. Surprise, surprise, guess who is in the news again? It is none other than Sidney Powell. According to this CBS article, Supreme Court upholds sanctions for pro-Trump lawyers over 2020 election suit. You guys know that Sidney Powell and a litany of other attorneys were supposed to, quote unquote, release the Kraken concerning the 2020 election fraud. With that being said, none of those court actions actually came to pass. And in Georgia, Sidney Powell and company pled guilty to the RICO racketeering charges that were levied against them for attempting to overturn the 2020 election suit. Now, according to the title of this article, you would assume that Sidney Powell appealed the aforementioned lawsuit, went to the Supreme Court with it, and lost. But that isn't exactly what happened here. So let's go ahead and get into it. From Washington, the Supreme Court on Tuesday declined to take up a bid by a group of Trump-allied lawyers who faced monetary and professional sanctions in Michigan as a result of their baseless claims raised in a lawsuit that the 2020 presidential election was rife with fraud. The one-line order from the high court rejecting the appeals brought by the lawyers Sidney Powell, Lynn Wood, and five others leaves in place a decision from the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Sixth Circuit that partially upheld the penalties imposed in the wake of the last presidential contest. The reason we know that this title is full of it is because they literally say it in their opening statement. The Supreme Court did not take up the bid for appeals. Instead, they left the lower court ruling as the partial settlement that it was. The issue here is that Sidney Powell and Lynn Wood and the five other defendants have a bit of trouble defending themselves in this lawsuit when they already pled guilty to criminal charges. But I digress. Let's continue on. Powell and Wood were among a group of lawyers allied with former President Donald Trump who pushed unfounded claims about the 2020 election in courts in key battleground states. Powell famously pledged to release the Kraken after the 2020 election, likening the mythical sea monster to the legal challenges she was pursuing as part of an effort to overturn President Biden's win and keep Trump in power for a second term. Powell, Wood, and five other lawyers were sanctioned in Michigan as a result of a lawsuit that attempted to reverse the state's election results. A district court ordered them to pay more than $175,000 to cover the legal fees that the city of Detroit and the state incurred to defend the lawsuit. In addition to the monetary penalties, Wood and the other defendants were referred to the Bar Association in each of their states for disciplinary proceedings. This is absolutely crazy, but again, since none of the court cases were actually taken up, this is also incomplete information. The court cases that were held were found to be in the wrong districts and dismissed without merit. Pleading guilty in the state of Georgia, coupled with the fact that she was unable to present accurate information concerning the illegalities of voting requirements in the 2020 election, Sydney has already cast doubt on those legalities that she attempted to challenge because ultimately she gave them up and conceded that they were improperly founded. When you claim that your court proceedings are improperly founded, then it only goes to reason that the other courts that you seek relief from will eventually roll against you. The district court said the sanctions were intended to deter future suits designed primarily to spread the narrative that our election processes are rigged. The Sixth Circuit upheld the sanctions but lessened the amount the lawyers had to pay. Beyond the sanctions in Michigan, Sidney Powell was charged in the sprawling racketeer case brought by Fulton County District Attorney 
in August. She reached a plea deal with prosecutors in October and agreed to plead guilty to six misdemeanor counts. Therefore, everything that I just told you is 100% accurate. The narrative was set for Sidney Powell, the legal charges that were an issue in 2020. She allowed them to hijack and then she pled guilty to the narrative in the state of Georgia. But nobody is going to be talking about that because they've already written Sidney Powell off. Do not believe the people who are saying things that you like, but not acting upon them. But that's all I have for you guys today, and I will catch you on the next one.